Here we are, guys. I'm back. Absolutely stunning day. 10 o'clock in the morning, the 1st of June. Yes, the 1st of June, guys. So yeah, obviously I'm out on my own today filming and I'm going up an estuary today, not very far from me. And today, I'll be trying for something different. Uh, see if there's any bass or bream up there today. I've had, I've had a few reports from um, a tackle shop that very, very patchy, the gilt head bream so far, they don't seem to be sort of turning up in any numbers. I don't know how true that is, but you've got to, you've got to take what you've told, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, so welcome along. I'm the bass man. Pleased to meet you. So yes, yeah, so I've got some really nice lugworm today and I've got some nice peeler crab. So they'll be going out on the uh, on the right rigs. Yeah, so I'll see you there. Yes, almost there, almost there. Looking forward to this. Very nice, very nice. In the woods. Yeah, I've got the light gear today. Here we are, fishing friends. I'm here, and I give you the River Yelm. Yes, I am up the Yelm, guys, and I am hunting. So, yes, nice of you to join me. I'm here for four hours. Tide's just turning, and I have got some really sexy bling to use today. Right, so I've got my running pack out today, of course, and check this out. Yesterday I was sent a nice little gift in the post, a nice little sample, bits and bobs from Sea Weights, and they've got to be the most exquisite looking weights I've ever, ever seen. Yeah, but more about those later. They've also sent me these nice pop-ups, a selection, I've got more. So yeah, so this one's going out with a single lugworm and I am rocking, I am rocking the circle hook this year on the rear gunner instead of the semi-circle. Yes, very nice. Bombs away. Yeah, so the tide's just turning. We've got a very strong wind coming down the estuary but pretty soon these boats will swing around the other way. It's always a good indicator that, you know, the tide is flooding when the boats will swing. And over here on this mud bank, I'll be trying for a mullet um, when the tide comes up. So I've got my mullet rod there and I've got a loaf of bread. And today, folks, I'm rocking the two pound all rounder rods from Black Rock. And I'm going really light this year. So this is gonna be my standard setup is my uh, Stradic and I've got a 15 pound Daiwa Hypersensor line on there, which is a skinny 15, more like a 12. Yes, got some nice lug in there and some crab. Let's have a look. Picked these up in town yesterday. And I've got some nice crab, which is gonna need a drink. Nice crabs in there. Yes, right, let's get going, guys. Sounds a bit like the Texas Chainsaw Massacre going on over there. Bloody hell. So yes, that's my little sort of pop-up rig there on the snood. And it's really important not to burst the worm when you're hooking it up. If it's already burst when you've put your hook in it, by the time it hits the water, there's not gonna be much left. So you've gotta be really careful threading them on. And uh, the circle work at the top doesn't need to be in the bait. Does not need to be in the bait, okay? There we are, there's a nice peeler on there. A little bit of bling at the back, six mil beads. And I've just disguised the look at the back there with a bit of leg 
and the circle hook's just tucked in there at the back. And he's perfectly happy there. Look, he's not, uh, he's still moving and that's really important that they can still crawl around. Yes. So all I'm gonna do now is, I'm just gonna crush, because this is very thin, the top shell, because it's just about to peel. So I'm just gonna crush that shell a little bit just before I fire it out. And that'll just let the scent come out because um, a bass or a gilt head knows if it's peeling or not just by the scent, you know, it gives off different uh, different smell down there. So yes, here we go. Good luck, Mr. Crab. Right, I fired my rods out, two baits out in the water, and I should have done this first, really. I've gone up now to factor 50, so sod the 30, because, you know, this sun's like really, really dangerous. So yeah, factor 50, don't ignore it. Always in your box. That's the mullet gear ready. So I made up a new rig last night just with a single pop up. I don't know, about what, 12 inches long, I guess, maybe 13. Yeah, so I'm just going to fire that out with some bread on it and a bit of a washing line. You know, and I get a bit, not bored, but uh, I like to maximise my chances, hence the mullet rod when I'm doing something else. It just gives me that little bit extra. The boats are swinging. So I've just changed my bait, fresh peeler on and another worm. The worm was nearly gone. So those little three pop-ups weren't quite enough, but now the tide's flowing, it might make a difference. So we'll see next time. Yeah, it looks very nice today. Tide's flooding in up on the mud. And that's really hot, that water over that mud, because it's so warm today. And the mullet love that. They love going over the mud and hoovering up the algae. So yeah, hopefully I'll get a few mullet bites in a minute. Not a single bite on these rods. Great. Every time, stripped. So yeah, it's about about six casts now. But we carry on. So here we are guys, I've just changed over the pop-up to a fixed pack with a washing line because there's a lot of wind coming down the river today and I'm casting and it's tangling more than usual. So I've decided to change it to a, a fixed pack. Right guys, the thinking angler wins. If it ain't working, change it. So I was just getting murdered, like the worm on the worm rod. The crab's not too bad. They don't tend to cannibalize their own so much. And I know that there's not many predators out there if the crabs are out there murdering all the worm, because when the predators turn up, the gilt heads and the bass, all the crabs 
they disappear and all of a sudden you're coming back with your baits untouched and then you know so anyway i've dropped back to my running ledger pop-up rig my flounder rig and these have caught me quite a few fish including bass yeah so i know that's going to float and pop up in this tide so let's see if the change works i've got my doubts because it's just really crabby probably only got about i don't know an hour or so left Here we are, just having bites on the mullet rod. First bite of the day, I've been here nearly, well, three hours, man. Just had three really good bites. I don't think there's any bread left. We'll see you in a minute. Right, now I'm interested because the bait fishing out there is rubbish. Here we are, a bit of action guys, we've just had a bite on the mullet rod. The first bite of the day, three hours later look, almost hooked up. Just missed the bites on the phone as well, on the camera, never mind. Yeah, so I'm interested now. The other rods just ain't fishing, it's just too much crab, so yeah, mullet time. Oh my God. Oh my god guys, I just missed that, really sorry on the camera, he's gone right up the river this one, nice fish, very nice mullet on here guys, oh my god, very nice. <laughs> Come on, come on. Really nice, really nice. <sighs> Trying to get the other camera sorted. Ugh. It feels really strong. <sighs> oh Christ, come on. So strong. <clears throat> Really, really strong. I'm struggling to hold it. Come on. Don't want it to go up me other lines. Oh, it's done me on something. It's done me in the weeds. He's done me in the weed. Oh. Got him out. Come on, where are you? Oh my God, he's right in front of me, yeah. Big fish. Big fish. Look at that. What a fish, man. Over here, mate, over here, mate. What a, f what a scrap. Oh my God. got to be four pound. Really happy with that. Uh, I was really lucky to get that one in because he's done me on the round of weed out there. A lovely fish. It's pinned in the lip. I can see the hook. Don't think he's coming off. I don't have a net.
what a beauty. <laughs> right, you're gonna come in now, mate? Come on. Come and say hello. Oh, what a lovely fish. Oh my God. The hook's just come out. Oh my God. What? What a beast. Oh my God, guys. That's it, I'm done. That is an absolute belter. Absolute belter. Yes! Oh, you absolute beauty. Let's get you one here, darling. There you go. Wow. Here we are. What a fish. Proper shaking. It's well over four. Let's get the scales, get our weight. Well, what a fish, guys. Size of that. Absolute beauty. Big mullet up the elm. This is where my PB came from last year. Yes. Yes. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Right, here we are. Got a sack. Five four, five three, five four, five five, four four, four five five, <laughs> five pound four. Minus the minus the bag weighs six six ounces, I believe. Oh my god! All right, need to give this fish a drink now. Right. There you go, mate. Have a drink. What a beautiful fish, really nice. Just under five pound. Absolute belter. I think that's my best one of the year. Go on, mate, get in there, get a drink. It's a good thing about these waist slings or waist sacks. You know, you can, uh, they're obviously for carp fishing. But this fish is alright now, it's back in the water, chilling out. So I'm not just going to let it go. What a fight. Oh, so much for my um, Bremen bass video, eh? That you can always rely on the mullet. Go on, darling, you have a little rest in there. Nice. All right, here we are, guys. She's been in the sack for a while now. And I've just turned on the uh, 
underwater camera so we can give her a bit of a send off. So just under five pound this one. Uh, where are we going to do this man? Yeah. Right. There she is, look, one last look. Really nice big fish that one. Very, very nice. Hello my darling. Amazing. Yes. So there you go guys. Just goes to show if you use your noggin, yeah you can catch something else other than the target species. So I'll always take mullet gear with me because you've just seen that man, that was just under five pounds, that is like whoa. So there's my pop-up rig and it's still fishing luck. It's come back like that. It's still got the lug on it. So that's still fishing. So yeah, a bit of a lacklustre session and very windy, sorry about that. But um, yeah, very, very pleased with that, guys. So yeah, quite a short vlog today. I'll be back.